Greetings and salutations. Thank you for clicking on the video. Today it's a follow-up video of sorts. We're going to take a look at Ubuntu Mate running on my old Dell desktop that I've had for quite some time. I've been goofing around with this a little bit lately and I realized that some of you guys are new to the channel and have never seen a video recorded on this machine. Now the downside here is the fact that this machine has a 16 by 9 monitor. It's pretty high resolution so if you are looking on some sort of low resolution device you might want to wait until you can watch this in HD or you can just listen to what I say. It doesn't really matter because um, this is going to look best if you're playing it back in HD that is for sure. So Ubuntu Mate is a very groovy flavor of Ubuntu. It is an official spin of Ubuntu and the head developer is a fellow named Martin Wimpress who's one of the coolest guys in the Linux community hands down also uh, one of the people that is instrumental in the concept and development of this is Alan Pope who actually works for Canonical the company that distributes Ubuntu so yeah uh, this is Ubuntu with the Mate desktop on it and this came out in 2014 first as sort of like, you know, one of those just spins of Ubuntu with a desktop on it, and it was very quickly adopted as an official flavor. So I was really anticipating 1604 when it came along because I thought, hey, this is going to be the best new user friendly distribution of Linux on the planet. And then what happened was is that when the official Ubuntu release came out, all these bugs popped up and there was network manager issues, driver issues with Intel GPUs, uh, problems with AMD GPUs because they don't have the right drivers and all kinds of crazy stuff. So I had to kind of change my tune a little bit and be like, well, yeah, Ubuntu Mate is the greatest distro in the world for new users if it works on your hardware and you don't have any problems with it. This machine has run beautifully for a long long time I actually installed this when it went into beta and so that would have been late February and it has run ever since now one of the reasons that this runs like this and I'm not doing anything with it is because these days I don't use this machine that much Cindy uses it way more than I do and she came and told me she said look I really like Ubuntu Mate would you please not mess with it just leave it alone I said okay I won't mess with it. I like it anyway. It's a cool distribution. So let's get into some of the cool features of Ubuntu Mate. And yeah, I know, gang. Look, if you're new, that does look like Mate. I understand that. But the developers of the Mate desktop call it Mate or Mate. Okay? And you can take that up with them. If I call it Mate, then I get yelled at. And if I call it Mate, then people go, well, it looks like Mate. So take it up with those developers, not with me. Uh, the Mate desktop is a fork of GNOME 2. In 2011, the GNOME project greatly changed how they uh, do their desktops. And a lot of people did not like GNOME 3, so it was forked, which means that somebody else picked up the work they were doing and continued it. But it is not old. This has been very much updated, and it is a very current desktop. And the fans spin up a little bit here when I open up the Ubuntu Mate Welcome on this machine. This is one of the coolest things about Ubuntu Mate. And that is this lovely welcome. So when you install it, the first time that you open it up, you can go through all this stuff. And you can read the introduction. And it will explain about the operating system. And then they list the features, and then they have getting started. And this menu opens up, and now you can come through here and uh, you can do your updates and install things like multimedia codecs, get your drivers up and running, uh, language and input here, uh, optional tasks, customizations. It goes on and on. So when you first install this, it really walks you through this. You can get this thing going with just uh, just this welcome screen you don't have to do anything else you don't have to open up a terminal you don't have to search anything it's all right here and then one of the greatest things that they have in here is this application called the software boutique now the software boutique is unique in that 
This is not every piece of software that's available in the Ubuntu repositories. This is just the cool and hip and happening software that people want on their machines now. And this is constantly updated. So new software is added, some software is removed, and what's really nice about this is that it does not matter where the software comes from. Now we just did that whole video about software manager, management and I talked about how you know you have to download some software here, you have to hook up a PPA there, that sort of thing. The Mate developers decided, the Ubuntu Mate developers, not the desktop but this particular distribution, that they would make that really easy for users. So like if you want to install Google Chrome, you don't have to go to the Google site, you don't have to download it and open up GW or anything, just one click does the trick. So they have a whole bunch of really cool applications in here that are available to you whether they are in the repositories or not. And when you click on this and get more information, it tells you where it comes from. You can make your decisions whether you want that or not. So if I look under sound and video here, one of the hardest applications for new users to install is Spotify because you have to follow certain directions and you have to hook up the Spotify repository and import the key and all that lovely stuff. Okay, look, there's simple screen recorder right there. One click. You know why that's in there? You want to know why that's in there? I'll tell you why that's in there. Because I said I wanted it in there. <laughs> and Martin Wimpress put it in there. He really did. The Ubuntu Mate developers are also awesome. One of the people that contributed to this particular piece of software is Matt Hartley, who is uh, the chief editor of FreedomPenguin.com that I talk about all the time. He actually wrote some of these descriptions in here. So, yeah, like if I wanted to install Spotify on this machine then it would be one click and I could do that and uh, you could play music from Spotify here as a matter of fact I'm gonna go ahead and do that I don't see why I don't have it on here already anyway now I don't use it but Cindy does so here we go we're updating the cache and I gotta put my password in of course And yes, you can install the Mate welcome screen on other flavors of Ubuntu 1604 and up, and you can use it if you want to. The welcome screen itself is not going to show up in the menu, but the software boutique will, which is really the reason why you would want to do that. Now, the upside, of course, is just super convenience as far as the software installation and stuff is concerned. The downside is, is that when you install this on any other distribution it has to pull in a lot of packages because it's really designed to work with the Mate desktop but it's still one of the coolest pieces of software ever devised for the Linux desktop. And when Ubuntu's snap packages gather more steam I'm sure that they'll be able to roll those right into the software boutique which is really cool. Let's see what this thing's doing. Uh, it's downloading. It's a little slow. Uh, the internet connection on this machine is not that great uh, simply because of the fact that I am all the way in the back of the house and the Wi-Fi is way up in the front of the house and this is a 150 year old house and I can't run cable so the next thing that I think I'm gonna do is I'm getting ready to put in a Wi-Fi network in this house that uses the power to do this and this machine does not like to capture video and run processes at the same time. You hear that fan spinning up. Which is really funny because it's a pretty powerful machine. Okay, Spotify is now installed. So, I will go add that to uh, Cindy's desktop when I am done doing this video so she can listen to her Spotify back here. I can't believe she hasn't asked me about that yet. Alright, so what are the other, some of the other things here to look at? Well, let's look at, um, go down to appearance. This is super customizable, as I have done with my desktop here. And I started out with the black Mate theme and then changed the icons and the fonts and a few other things to get what I wanted. And let's look at Mate Tweak, because here's another thing that Ubuntu Mate does. It allows you to choose a bunch of layouts when you first start out. So uh, we have uh, Mutiny and Netbook and OpenSUSE and we've got 
Redmond and Ubuntu Mate and Cupertino, which sort of looks like a Mac and has a dock in it. And you can choose those and play with them all you want to. And then um, you can also choose your window manager in here. You got a lot to choose from. You can run Compiz. And I've been doing um, Marco Compton, which is a, a lighter weight window manager. So you get a little bit of effects, but not quite as much overhead. And of course, you don't get like really groovy things where you can preview the desktop and it's like you see how, what the alternate tab looks like there it's pretty pretty straightforward stuff and then as far as changing desktops there's not much to see we'll look at that in a minute and so I got two desktops set up here now this is not in the layouts this um, particular thing I got going on this is something I did myself but it is really super easy to customize the Mate desktop so you might want to check that out anyway sorry I got a little distracted there I was like what is that icon? <laughs> Stop the video. And I went, no, 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 that's the icon for simple screen recorder. Never mind. Anyway, gang, um, that's about all I wanted to show you about this desktop anyway. Let me talk a little bit about this machine. You see that it's kind of working hard a little bit because it's capturing high definition video. Uh, this has a, uh, you know, a three core Athlon processor in it. It is a multi threaded core. And it has the onboard GPU which is all AMD this is all AMD it's like a Radeon 4200 integrated GPU and then it has a three core processor on it and ordinarily I tell people you know it doesn't work well with Linux don't use AMD but for some reason this old stuff seems to work great I don't have a problem with this at all never have had a problem running Linux on this machine and then I have upgraded it a bit. It came originally with a big old 750 gigabyte Seagate hard drive, and that Seagate hard drive crashed a couple, three years ago. So I scrounged up a bunch of SSDs and put it in the machine. So what's actually in this machine, it has three physical hard drives. So let me see here. Uh, let's see if we can take a look at what's in the computer as far as hard drives are concerned. sudo lsblk. Yeah, so the first hard drive here is the partition uh, that holds the operating system. It's a 64 gigabyte, and it is a what is that? It's a Vertex OCC Vertex SSD. Second one here is an Intel SSD. It's like 250 gigabytes, and it is holding the home partition. And then um, SDC here is actually a 10 year old spinning drive that I bought new old stock it is a Western Digital Caviar 160 gigabyte that I just store some files on and then that becomes swap for this computer because of the SSDs so there are three hard drives in here and that's how I do it I bought that uh, Western Digital Drive for a project I was working on and ended up not using it and I thought, hey, let's just throw it in here. And so this machine, when I when the hard drive crashed, I didn't buy a new drive. I just went through my box of old drives and scrounged up some stuff and threw it in here. And it's worked out really well. Uh, the machine does run well. Although, like I said, you know, you heard the fans spin up earlier. Every now and again, it gets a little bit bogged down. But it's always kind of been that way. It's just the nature of the beast. But it's stable and it runs well and it doesn't crash. And we don't have problems with things like that happening. So, you know, that's pretty awesome. All right, gang. Thanks for watching the video. We will do it again soon. Uh, so my, my, you know, my wrap-up thing here about Ubuntu Mate is this is a great distribution of Linux. Now that we are past uh, a lot of the bugs in Ubuntu 16.04, you can give it a try. If it works on your hardware, it's absolutely great. It's a wonderful distribution. So thanks for watching. Check out freedompenguin.com. I got an article coming up there pretty soon. Also, check out Easy Linux on the web. Check out Easy Linux on Facebook. And also, uh, 
check out the comments section of this video and add your thoughts to it. That would be really cool. Thanks for watching, gang.